Robbie's got um, a client on the rolling road. He's busy today all day and I've been painting in the studio and I think, oh, I'm feeling so claustrophobic. You know that feeling? So I thought I'd walk down the village and post a couple postcards for Chloe. I usually send her one a week, but uh, with the travel, with the switching countries and with my operation before that, I kind of am behind. So I thought, oh well, a little treat. Send her some postcards again. Maybe she'll get two at a time. Doesn't matter. I'm happy to do it. So I'm just walking down our quiet little country lane. Quiet when there's no cars coming. But look at the height of these weeds. Look at that. <laughs> Huge things. I love it like this, you know, and I think, look at this thistle here. I'm 5'6". It's like a six foot tall thistle. Ah, the advantage of a blogging camera, I can look behind me and see if there's a car coming. If there's a car coming, you get off the side of the road. Like, right now. Hang on. There we go. No more cars. So here's our fields. Here's where I usually walk down these fields. Through the gate, down the path. Five fields to the Thames. But not today. Today I'm going down to the village. I thought um, I usually wear some rosy pink to red lipstick. But for some bizarre reason I bought this really light pink. Um, it's kind of like a pencil, like a lip pencil, organic lip pencil. And I haven't worn it because I thought it was a silly thing to do. And I'm possibly too old for light pink lipstick. <laughs> and then I thought, you know what, stuff that for a game of soldiers, I'm putting it on, and I kind of like it. It's not too bad. Oh, car coming. Hang on. That's rush hour around here. Yep, we have to get out of the way of two cars. Maybe a third car will come and I'll have to get out of the way. <laughs> I don't actually have to get out of the way, but I just feel better, you know, stepping aside. Uh, make sure I'm not run over. Yeah, I don't know. Probably being a bit paranoid, but Robbie told me to get off the road when a car's coming, so that's what I do. And, uh, I don't know what to talk about. I'm just walking down the lane. Oh, car. I do know what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to be British and talk about the weather. See the clouds behind me? It's threatening to rain. But, because I'm from Vancouver, and I live in a, what Rose Warward calls it a dishwasher, where it always rains. I'm feeling just fine, thank you very much. Here I am in Northmore. Well, there's the limits of the village. Yeah, we live just a little bit outside Northmore, just um, on the outskirts, but we still belong to this parish council. And, uh... That's where the nearest mailbox is. Plus, it's a nice ride. What was I? A uh, nice walk. What was I talking about? Oh, yes, rain. I think it's gonna rain. And I should have probably done something about my hair, too. It's kind of being crazy. Yeah, that's the other thing. If you're too old to wear pink lipstick, you're probably too old to have two feet of hair, too, huh? I should get one of those. What does Kristen call it? A mom cut? Yeah, here comes the drizzle. Do we care? No. There's our friends and neighbors, Mike and Val says. Don't see them outside. We can't say hi to them. Down the road is a little... Is that a car? That's not a car. Down the road is a little nursery when they have trees for landscape planting. Expensive. Oh my god, like 100 pounds for a little tree. And here is where our friends Elaine and William live. And their gates open. They are, they're both in. I might step in and say hi on the way home. And Elaine and William live next to a beautiful field. Car coming? Can't tell. Ah, car coming. Oh. So nice, you know, every time you get off to the side of the road and you don't 
make the driver slow down and he can just cruise on through. They always say hello and thank you and raise their hand or, you know, it's really sweet. What was I saying? Oh yeah, Elaine and William live next door to this field. And uh, the field belongs to a farmer who has cows. And quite often these huge brown cows walk down this field. Here's the field. They walk down that field and they go to this little stream. They call it a river here, probably. A uh, brook just here. And they have a drink and they get really close and you can see them. Very pretty, isn't it? I love it. And I also love what's in front of me, that, those um, huge trees, the tunnel of trees. I love that and all over England um, some are much shorter trees and the trucks that go through actually make the tunnel. They trim the trees back with their constant passing by, breaking off leaves and branches. Um, anyway, Elaine, she calls these huge cows to her fence, which is quite a small fence, and feeds them apples. And I'm like, Elaine, that's a very small fence between you and those huge cows. And it really is like, like this kind of a gate, like a, like a fence like that. And she's just like, yeah, whatever, <laughs> I'm good. Oh, makes me laugh. And here's another field, a small field. There's always sheep in this field. I like this little field. Hey guys. Hello. There's sheep in that field and horses in this one. And do you see this plant? It has a beautiful, strong smell. And um, it's meadow sweet. It's called meadow sweet, and it's very sweet. And it grows in sort of wetlands, and there's a, a ditch just running along here. And in medieval times, people used to cut the blossoms and then put them all over their floors, and it, it acted like a natural um, room freshener, I guess, house deodorizer. Maybe it kept pests at bay or something. Like that. If you know what's in that, do you guys know? Like, if it's something that's called flea bane, does it keep fleas away? And fever few, does it eliminate fevers? It's a good question, huh? I think I'm gonna look into that next time I'm in queue. This is the horse field. Oh, yeah, I see the horse. He's way, 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 way over there in the distance. Oh, car coming. Oh, here I am down in the village proper, our pretty little English village with our little cotswold stone houses and some have thatched roofs and privet hedges and meadowsweet growing all over the place and roses growing through the hedges. It's a pretty little village. Oh, getting, ducking under the weeping willow tree. U hedge and just in front of me just in front of me is our pub the red lion oh yeah sometimes there's really big fish in this little ditch like big black carps no idea what that's all about there's the red lion that's our village pub we should be faithful to the village pub, but actually we like to be on the Thames at the Rose Revived. And just behind is our church where I've taken you on one of the videos, St. Denis. And just around the corner um, is a little side road. And just in front of me is the mailbox where Chloe's postcards are going to go. I should check to see when it's picked up. I think it's about 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock. So it'll get picked up today. Here it is. Oh, 9 a.m. It'll get picked up 7 a.m. tomorrow. In it goes. Oh, I see. Look, the mailman, then he puts in the date right there when he opens it, picks it up. So next pickup is Saturday morning, 7 a.m. Terrific. The Royal Mail. 
as you can probably guess. I cannot go past St. Denis without checking in on our Knights Templar. Knights Templar, Knights Templar, Knights Templar. Let's go have a peek. I think I need two hands for this, but I'll try to do it with one hand. I need two hands. There we go. humongous oak door. I love everything about this church. I really do. And I'm not a religious person, actually. don't even know the first thing about religion. But I love history. And I loved the singing of the Christmas carols in here. And um, it was just so magical. All along the pews, was a tall construction that held a trough and there were candles burning in the trough and ivy and greens hanging from it at Christmas time. It was just so beautiful. So, shall we go see the moors? Here they are. There's Thomas. And there's Isabel. Well, that's it from Northmore, and that's it from my beautiful little church. And actually, that's it for my camera because I see the little battery flashing. So I'm going to go home now. Thanks for coming on this walk with me. Just outside the church is a sweet little cottage. My friend Ellie lives there, and she was outside washing her car. So I said hi, and I said, come on, I'll give you a hand. I started washing her car with her. They're going away on holiday, so the car got washed, and um, look, she gave me beans and bean poles. <laughs> Who's a lucky girl? I think I am. That was a really lovely visit. We had a cup of tea, toured the garden, sat for a bit, chatted, and now I'm going home. <laughs>